Why, hello there. It is I, the Cheesy Cat, and we are back with another special episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You may be wondering, what's going on here? Why are we back at the Great Plateau? Well, if you look in the distance, we already have some towers activated. Well, obviously we have that tower activated because that's the Great Plateau Tower. I don't think we can see a Tenno Tower from here, though. Um, basically, I have a special, special episode for a special little part in the game. That's mostly completionist stuff. Oh, this is actually a nice sunrise. Ah, I love that feature. Just take pictures of stuff. You'll be able to, well, in other games, you'll be able to capture moments that you want to capture for sure. But anyways, this special episode is completely for this function here, where we take a picture of certain things and then boom compendiumized so look at that 199 I think well yep that makes sense tree branch is the second weapon in the in equipment uh, part of the compendium but basically the compendium is just everything in the game that you can collect Minus uh, monster parts which aren't in here. Um, the monsters, when you take a picture of them, will tell you what they drop. So that's where, where they're found in the compendium, but they're not taken pictures of. So stuff like that can't be taken pictures of. People, um, anything like that. So we're talking about stuff that goes in your inventory or stuff that you kill. So monsters, creatures, and obviously materials which you pick up and weapons that you pick up. Treasure is slightly different, but the same the same uh, thing. Uh, we'll get up into treasure in a bit. But obviously, if you watch my videos of my simple little playthrough of Legend of Zelda, we have Apple already taken a picture of. And I like that picture, so we're gonna keep it. Um, but yeah, basically when you take a picture of something in the compendium and it gets into the compendium, it gives you a little description where it's found and its properties, basically. Um, for food, it's going to be different than weapons, but we'll, we'll go deeper into detail. So, as you can tell, this video is going to be a little bit different than the normal thing. We're going to be compendium everything on the great plateau or at least everything I can um, within a time limit I don't know we'll see how it goes but we have some more stuff here and here's a nice find bladed rhino beetle I want to get a good picture of that without scaring it away there we go. So we're gonna crawl up to this guy without scaring him to collect them. Oh, please work, please work. And yes, there you go. Um, so I haven't got this creature before, so it's gonna tell me what it is. But basically, when we add something to the compendium, not only do we get to see its description and stuff like that and common locations, um, obviously it doesn't recover any hearts. It's mostly for cooking with monster parts and this one does attack up So when we get the thing in the compendium we can press Y on that and it will help us search for more so if you have the Sheikah sensor on shrine You already know how it works um, the direction that it's the strongest you walk over there and that's where the the shrine basically but in this case the creature so I'm guessing it's pointing me to this tree but I'm not trying to scare it okay there we are so this is a very fantastic way of oh dang it well never mind fantastic way of finding rare stuff like this so bladed re beetles you may have skipped like easily what scared it 
Oh, it's the squirrel running around. Okay, hopefully it doesn't come this way because I'm trying to catch this one. Anyways, you see, boom, easy. And there's still more in the area, so we can continue looking for that. But we're not... Oh, got it, got it. Oh my gosh, that was, that was close. So anyways, I'm going to turn that off. Um, not like it matters. And, um, that explanation is over. So if you're looking for a very specific item or creature, that's the best way to do it. It's really good for later in the game when you're searching for a whole bunch of the same item for a specific quest. And you just need an easy thing to tell you where everything is. Now let's take a picture of this guy. I guess that's a decent picture. Hylian Shroom. Pretty simple. Um, no. I mean, other than that, we're just gonna be exploring from now on. Exploring everything. So, there was a squirrel over there. I wonder if it's still there. Probably should have took a picture of it while I was running around like crazy, scaring my beetles away. Which, by the way, those beetles make some good elixirs for strength. Now, as far as weapons go, hmm, I'm gonna do weapons a little bit differently. I'll like, hmm, how do I say? I'm gonna cut the video and do a little teleport to basically take a picture of it because I I'm very picky with weapons in particular, haha. <laughs> And I want them to look a certain way. Will it let me take a picture of this? No, you can't take a picture of Acorn. That is not something you can take a picture of. Sadly, but you can still pick them up. Oh, perfect. Another another creature. Hightail Lizard. These guys are hard to find. And when you do find them, they're like... Re I guess they're not really hard to find. It's just that when you find them, it's like just inconvenient and like at the worst time see like even this is the first time I'm finding these but these are like everywhere uh high tail lizards so this will be like a chill video just searching for stuff restless cricket that's gonna be a hard one to take a picture of oh I got a high tail lizard. um let's see Oh, okay, so we got a monster over here. That's something we can take a picture of. Just come out in the light, buddy, or just stay there. Oh, 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 oh. So here we have the Bokoblin. We're gonna kinda do that. That's a, actually a very good picture. That is very good. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Um, nice tree branch you got there. Um, oh, I don't have stasis upgraded. We, we can get into that later. So I pretty much don't have any weapons right now, and I don't really want to use my current weapons. Basically what I did before doing this was drop off all of my weapons at the, at my house. And my horse is near my house too. So it's almost like doing a naked run kind of thing, but... I just wanted to leave most of my good stuff at home while I do this and just focus on only using things from the Great Plateau to explore the Great Plateau because the Great Plateau is like one area that is closed off by itself and since you can't leave it without the paraglider that makes it its basically its own area. But enough babbling about that. We're 10 minutes into the video. Let's get some compendium meaning going on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this... Oh, at least he gave me his branch. So we already got a picture of him. Oh, I could have taken a picture of those birds. See, that's basically what happens with the lizards. The high tail lizards. It's just extremely... Um, what's the word? And just random times you find them. 
so very extremely random. Oh, perfect, another thing. And when they do pop up for you, um, they're really fast, so they run away. If you have, like, no speed boosts, then you're pretty much done for. And that's a nice picture right there, nice and close. So we got the first Choo Choo in the game, basically. If you haven't seen Choo Choo's before, they're just little gooey monsters that are pretty much a staple in a lot of Legend of Zelda games. And you can change their elemental form in this game based on what you kill it with or what you shoot their jelly with. Oh my god. Didn't mean to do that. I have rather decent defense so I don't have to worry about um, dying. Anyways, we got our first weapon here. The Boko Club, I call it. Because I've said before Boko Blin, but they're like goblins, so Bokoblin would technically be the right pronunciation. But I like to say Boko Blin because it just, it's just funny. Anyways, we got another thing here, the Hyrule Herb. Let's, let's step back a bit. This isn't really a good picture, but it works. There we are. More choo-choos. Now this is a much better weapon for beating stuff up with. But as being a weapon, it is something that you t can put in the compendium. So we will want to do that eventually. Look at how beautiful this is. Even though everything is like destroyed after after calamity happened. But this is just so nice. When you when you take a second to just appreciate how good this game looks, things things work out much better. So I mean, let's see. We need some more wildlife. Actually, let's Let's try and get some more weapons so that we can actually stand a chance in this area. Oh, is that? Oh, this is quite, quite a hard creature to notice at first. Oh, come on. Please. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that either. That's better. It's not a great picture. Oh, it went away. That's okay. Um, Summerwing Butterfly, if we look in the compendium, since I didn't collect it, you can show that it has cold resistance. So basically you cook it with monster parts, and that's another way to survive the cold mountains. But it's they're a little bit hard to catch. Um, you kind of just stand still, wait till they come to you, and then quickly press A to grab it. But most people on their first run didn't even notice they can grab those, I'm pretty sure. If you did, then you're pretty darn awesome. Okay. I'm gonna try to sneak up on these guys. At least kill this guy with the branch first. Unless that, he has a bow too? Interesting. There we go. Oh, got some arrows. Okay, that works. So now we have some bows. Oh, I have a soldier's bow. I, I mainly brought it so I can just break it. Oh, there's some summer wing butterflies. Yeah, you have to be real sneaky with these guys. Uh, there we go. So cook it with monster parts for a cold, cold elixir. Basically, well, it'll be a warming up elixir, but it's to survive the cold. So if you haven't played the game yet, sorry for your spoilers, because basically everything, everything video-wise for me is going to be a spoiler from the beginning of the <laughs> series for this. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and use a fire arrow. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, perfect. It broke. Okay, thanks. Now we don't have to worry about that. I just want to make this this right here super easy. Seared steak. Perfect. Um, obviously, you can't take pictures of 
materials that came off of enemies that died or animals that died which in also includes um what is it called I need a shield traveler shield I hope yeah I should really get to let me try and avoid con combat for now and focus on trying to get pictures of animals and stuff like that so we're actually going to cut back to the nice foresty area so I'll be back I'm gonna do a quick teleport and go to the northern area and then we'll come back here for some more well actually we're kind of close but I'll still cut see you in a moment now um I did say I was gonna go to the foresty area but when I saw this shrine I realized that there's stuff that we can't really get on the outside if to take basically to take a picture of and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a moment it's kind of kind of want to skip all this we're gonna have to do the trial again but it's gonna be much faster since we already know what to do um, you didn't see me do this on official video this was done on stream which I did release back out in a YouTube video uh, what am I doing with that I released the whole stream out on YouTube so that people can watch it but when you get a blood moon all the enemies inside shrines will also respawn so in that in that sense you can pretty much get all the pictures of all the enemies so we're gonna have a nice picture of a guardian scout one look at that easy as pie I know it's kind of dumb for me wasting arrows but it's okay oh uh, why are you getting so close buddy there you go and that does it so if you're looking for a easy way to get an enemy that's uh, basically a guardian but you've already cleared all the shrines do not worry you can always go back to a shrine after a blood moon and the enemy will respawn oh god that don't that could have killed me just a little forward there we go but when you've been to a shrine that you already cleared obviously there will not be a elder there which whichever you want to call him the the monk the, 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 bleh, bleh. yes exit this shrine <laughs> but yes that's how you go back into a shrine I guess so and it's really easy to just quickly go through once you already cleared it so it's not so bad now here Actually, am I able to take a picture of... No, it doesn't look like... It looks... Basically, it's a living thing, but it's not that kind of living thing. <laughs> now, actually, there is an enemy in this area that I do want to get a picture of. A lot of this is going to be much easier since we have the paraglider, but... I'll see you guys in the forest. Alrighty. We already got something here. Oh, well, I better take care of that. Um, but let's first get a picture of this boar right here. Wow. Okay. And this is a decent picture, I guess. Yeah, that's not so bad. It has, um, what you want to call it? It has a bit of quirkiness there. Oh, oh, okay. He's, he's running. Still running. Okay, he's trying to juke me. Okay, that wasn't that good. And, okay, yeah, I suck. <laughs> He's kind of hard to get. Once you get some stronger weapons, yeah, it'll be easier to do. But by now he's disappeared, right? Oh, yep, there he goes. He disappeared. I already got this cork. I didn't know that. Okay. Must have been on the stream. Because I know I went over this way to fight. 
a certain thing that we are going to get a picture of. But I mostly went in here to get forest animals and stuff. So let's see. Maybe we can get a better picture on this guy. Oh, that is much better. Yeah, let's replace that. I am so picky with the pictures. You can just tell. Then we can get a headshot on. Or not a headshot. That was a headshot. There you go. Free raw meat. And get a picture of this nice stamella shroom. Oh, that is a good picture. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, there's a bird over here. Wood pigeon. I want to get its front nice and good. Look at this way, buddy. See, this is this is how picky I am. Oh, that's a very good picture. Okay. <laughs> Had to kill it for some chicken wings. Uh, well, wings. <laughs> chicken legs. Oh, perfect. Look at all this stuff. Oh, actually, a torch is a, counts as a weapon. Um, so we'll get back to taking a picture of that. But we get arrows, traveler's bow. Pretty awesome. Um, oh, perfect. We need a picture of these guys. Come on. You gotta be close enough. Oh, these are gonna be hard to take a picture of. It's being picky. It's not wanting to catch it. Oh, this is perfect. There we go. That's probably close enough. No, not, not to catch. But Sunset Firefly, which I've already gotten because they're pretty easy to notice. They increase stealth when cooked with monster parts. Oh, but they're so hard to get. They're actually pretty slow, so you can kind of just run up to them and get them. But they do, they, they do run away at a pretty good range for you to miss them. So, good thing we got that before they run away. The hard part of taking a picture with them was mostly because they're so small. Um, pretty sure we got a Korok here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Try not to make so much noise. Oh, another bladed rhino beetle. Gotta get one of those. This is what happens when you explore in Breath of the Wild. You just find everything you like. Just take a moment to explore around, not just try to clear the game as fast as possible. Try to get Get your, give yourself a good hour of just exploring. Now this is 25 minutes and we got another enemy. It is nighttime, so, well, they're gonna be rather difficult to take a picture of because they're pretty fast. Um, let me, let, oh, vicious, jeez. Oh, he found a uh, amber for me. I can't take a picture of that, but, okay, there you go. That's what I wanted to do take that spear from him. Oh, I ran out of stamina. And that will do. Stockoblin, Stockoblin, I guess you can call it. Um, now let's use that new spear we got. Oh, what? Okay, take that. Take that too. Take that too. Take that too. Oh, perfect. Getting some more weapons. I'm actually gonna use their arms for as weapons right now because I have quite a bit of them. Two. Two is a lot, I guess. And can you pick this up? Oh, you can. It's like just randomly on the side of a cliff. So what else can we take a picture of? Either we're too far and it hasn't loaded or something. Oh, we get a free flint. And just to prove that you can't take a picture of gems, there you go. So that's just a free campsite. You don't have to use wood, and it gives you a free flint. So basically, when you use a metal weapon on flint, it creates a spark. And if you have wood right next to it, it makes a fire. Easy pie. 
It's just good if you're low on hearts and want to stay out of nighttime encounters like those stockoblins, stockoblins, whatever. Now I'm, what I'm trying to do is locate... Oh, he's way over here. I want to get this out of this picture out of the way first. Need to start taking picture of some more birds that I'm missing out on. Anyways, if you saw my stream, you saw this guy over here. Come on, there we go. Shooting his arms out at me. Stone Talus. I want to get a good picture of you with both your arms, please. Come on, shoot your other arm. You're just gonna sit there, buddy? Fine, I'll take a picture of you with one arm. There we go. And he's gonna do it now. Whatever. So if you do beat this guy, you get a bunch of gemstones, which is pretty cool. But I don't know how ready I am with the equipment that I have. Oh, perfect. While we're getting shot at by this guy, we can catch some bee honey. Let's see. Coarser bee honey. There we go. And bees will be there. In order to get it, you just want to shoot it, run and get it, and then basically just run for your life from the bees. Which you can just simply walk and you'll, you'd avoid them pretty well. This stone talus is really trying to get me. Ooh, okay. Oh, and we come into an encampment of a bunch of bokoblins. And there's some more fireflies. I'm actually going to avoid these guys right now. Uh, while I'm getting shot at. Oh, another beetle. Look, they're just everywhere in this area. I can just stock up on bladed rhino beetles. Let's see here. See, look, I can see another one. Nope, never mind. I'm blind. I'm just imagining things. See, going out this way. This is another base, which I'm, I also did in my stream. But I'm going to teleport to another area so we can start getting some, some other things gone. So I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, we're back in another area, and I'm going to take a picture of that there Hyrule base. I would like a better picture, to be honest. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Oh, come on. I guess. Keep old picture. Now, there's one way to get them, is by shooting an arrow at them. They float to the surface. That's a pretty sad picture, but that's what it is. Uh, I don't think I want that picture. I'd like to keep them alive. Oh, that's actually much better. Delete. Uh, come on. Nope, he's swimming away, so it's causing him to be in a bad place for me to take a picture with. But this is by the Temple of Time. Pretty easy. The other way to get them is to bait them with stuff. I don't think I have any real bait. To be honest, I don't know what to use as bait for these things. I never really tried. I'll worry about it another time. The water's too... It's causing too much distortion. I guess the best picture I am going to get is one of it dead. Huh. That's pretty sad. It's okay. Let's get on to the next area. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we got some more here. Get a nice, good picture of one of these hot-footed frogs. That is pretty awesome. 
I wonder how easily we can sneak up on these guys. That guy already saw me. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's going really far. Look at him. Is that another summer wing butterfly? Yes, it is. These guys are spl just all over the place over here. Oh, I'm getting so close and then he gets away. Okay, whatever. I'm I got you. <laughs> Wasted time with that guy. When I should have just ran up to him and took him. Just grabbed them. Those are some speedy guys in the water, at least compared to you. Oh, can I get a good picture? Oh, yes. Yes, that is a much better picture of Hyrule Base. And look at how many there are. I should know this area. Give me... Come on. Yes. Oh, so much easier. You gotta, you gotta take note of this place, guys. Right by the tower. Where, where's the tower? Oh, right up there. Boom. Right here. Hyrule Base. Heaven. Oh. Nope, you don't see me, buddy. You don't see me. But I see you, and you're dead. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, that's... That's better than what I thought was gonna happen. Now they can't call their friends. Oh, that was a direct shot. What did I have? He has a bow, so you're gonna die. You're gonna die. That was a critical hit. Poor you. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Um, yep, just stand there for me to kill you. You too. Works for me. Oh! I didn't unlock this treasure chest yet. I wonder what it'll give me. Okay, whatever. Alrighty, we're gonna see what we got here. Traveler sword, that is awesome. Oh, that is exactly what I need. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Got the traveler sword. What's my shield inventory looking out? Okay, that's interesting. Well, I think we have a pretty good set of things here to start um, showing you guys weapons in the compendium. So I'm gonna teleport and I'll be right back. No, I did leave my horse here in Heiteno Village since we are here. So I'll take a picture of him. Boom. Added to the compendium. Now we can search for horses. Of course we don't want to give up our one and only horse, but that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right back into what we were going to do here. Now, in your house, as you can see, I got a bunch of weapons up here. But we're about to get rid of some weapons in our inventory to make space for taking pictures of them. So we're going to drop that. Take this out. Drop that. And this will be our picture mount. So let's start with the torch. Oh shoot, I need a tree branch too, don't I? To get a good picture of it. And eh, I can worry about that later. So the torch is kind of awkward to take a picture of because it only works to take... In here, it only works to take a picture of the very tip, which works, I guess. Next up, coral leaf. So this is basically how I want my weapons to be taken a picture of. Yes, I know, very picky, but that's just the way I want it to be. Boom. Look at how perfect that looks. Boomerang. Before I break it. And there we go. Awesome. I mean, this just looks so much neater. That's... That's main. That's just the main reason why I'm doing it this way. Baco Baco Blood Club Blood Blood. There you go. 
So most of these weapons we can just get rid of now and it won't let me, it doesn't recognize the whole thing. So we're gonna take a picture of just the tip top, delete that. I want to capture as much as possible. It works for me. The Coblin arm, kind of creepy looking there with its whole three fingers wiggling everywhere. Woodcutter's axe, which I did end up grabbing before going this way, so got that done. Boom. Traveler's sword, which is something that I was really trying to look for for a specific quest, but I'll go over that in my main story and it doesn't recognize it as a traveler sword sad so i'm gonna have to take a picture like that and it's going to cut it off which is fine i guess and that's all the weapons that we have currently so let's grab some stuff and start putting it back um well yep i guess i wanted to do that for the shields to take a picture of the shields traveler's shield which is something that you do get in um what am I trying to say you do get in the Great Plateau but I didn't get this one from the Great Plateau actually I might have might have but I don't remember because I am silly I just know that travelers shields are everywhere so you, ca you ca can't really miss them Click that, put it up there. And lastly are the bows. So let's display that nicely so that we can have a picture of it and just throw it away when we feel like it. Perfect. And traveler's bow. So now we have the whole traveler set. If you want to be a traveler, this is how you do it. Get your pictures taken. Boom. And equip them. Traveler sword, shield, and bow. You are now a traveler. Ho ho. Isn't that great? No, it's kind of like. So, anyways, I'll take a pictures of the rest of those later. But now I really want to save the traveler sword. I just said uh, there's only three um, plaques, so you don't really have space to hold a lot of weapons. So now I'm actually going to go back to the Great Plateau to continue our adventure, so let's go. Alrighty, here by this shrine, um, the Jabaij sh Shrine, and the first thing we're gonna run into that we can take a picture of is the Decayed Guardian. Creepy, huh? Um, let's hurry up and take a picture of it before it starts to kill us. Um, it's pretty easily killable as long as you know what you're doing. But we're not going to worry about trying to waste all our arrows and weapons trying to kill that guy. Oh, so is that how you can tell? Th will this one activate too? Yep, he activates. No, you don't see me, buddy. I wonder if that's an easy way to tell between which ones activate and which ones don't. Let's see. Let's try to find a a dead one that doesn't activate. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's an easy way to tell which one activates and which one doesn't. Oh, oh. Oh, that's how he saw me. I'm like, what? How do you see me? So these things have some pretty crazy range, so when I walk up here, he's going to see me. Uh, actually, I see something down there. No, it's just another butterfly. Yep, shoot the wall. Um, anyways, I'll be right back again. Let's go. Alright, trying to get a picture of this restless, restless cricket here. Come on, stay still. Yeah, that's how hard it is to get a pictures of those guys. No, you kind of want to stay as far away as possible, but close enough to take a picture of it. 
Come on. Boom! I got it! Okay. Now these guys are really hard to get to. But they're good for stamina. And they're pretty hard to see in the grass. The way you get them is by cutting grass. Um, that's the easiest way. They're like everywhere in the grass. See, look, one right there. But look at how fast he flies away. You want to put on something stealthy or eat something stealthy in order to grab him. But yeah, this took about five minutes of trying over and over again. Trying to get him. You can also find high tail lizards that way. But nine times out of ten, they'll run into you trying to jump around. And if they touch you while jumping around, they'll automatically run away even if you're not moving. So, I'll see you guys in a bit again. Or not, because we got another thing to take a picture of. Rushroom. Such a weird name. But this is a speed enhancing mushroom. Pretty cool, I already grabbed some of those before, very obviously. Big things like that are easy to collect. You just see it and be like, oh, I want to collect that. And boom, you're done collecting it. Oh, dang it. Gosh darn it. Well, here's another shield. It's called the pot lid. Pretty useless. <laughs> I mean, it's good for um, reflecting, I guess. Um, spicy peppers here, but I think I got a better picture for spicy peppers as we are slowly, and it rains, slowly approaching a particular area. Already got wood pigeons, so we can skip that. Here's some more wood pigeons. In case you want some more raw bird drumsticks. There's some bokoblins over there. More over here. They don't have anything that I would really want to use. And I already took the treasure chest from that area. So no good for me. Actually there's a hightail lizard. Um, a weapon right here that I can grab. That I would grab if I could. Um... What do I get rid of? Let's get rid of this. And boom, farmer's pick pitchfork. So we're going to take a picture of that when we get the chance. But I might as well start using these to beat people up with. Now, where are we going? Okay, perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, and we take out this club and beat those up real fast. Perfect. Now I'm not going to pick up any of those arms. Even though they're stronger than this club. I already took a picture of a club, so I'll take an arm. I'll take an arm. And we can beat people up with this spear, too. Now I'm going this way to try and get to the wintry area because we haven't been there yet and i still haven't haven't took it taken a picture of any of small birds they're really hard to see you know and you don't really notice them until the last second which is the same thing with higher tail wiz lizards i'll always complain about those guys it's constantly raining hope i hope i hope this is a decent picture of a spicy pepper Come on, take a picture of the right one. It always wants to take a picture of the left one. Okay, I'll just do that. Perfect! That actually turned out better than anticipated. Okay. Now let's see here. Is there anything worth trying to get? They all have spears. So no, not really. Besides the meat. Now I do have the warm doublet, so... I can go into the wintry area. Oh, perfect. Another enemy. A keys and a freaking stokoblin comes out of nowhere. So we're going to try to preserve these keyses. Try. Okay. Uh, somewhat successful. And... That's actually a pretty good looking picture. <laughs> um, there we go. 
pretty good looking picture kind of just this steps up towards <laughs> that way okay so we do get some materials from that key and let's see here oh so sluggish in the snow no that's not a activating one let's see here oh no I don't like that sound at all why now if you guys know it's a blood moon and uh, enemies are about to respawn so I basically did all this for practically nothing oh uh, uh, okay very sad anyways let's let's get a move on um, there is an enemy in this area that I do want to take a picture of Oh, I see something in the distance. It's an acorn. Just an acorn. Never mind, guys. False alarm. Oh, more keys. Oh. Easy enough to kill. Oh, perfect. This is exactly where I was trying to get to. Oh, he kind of did a weird jump. He's going to blow up an ice. I want to wait for him to recharge to get a good picture, and boom. Now the, these guys you you will want to kill from a distance because they will they will pop you. Boomerangs definitely do help if you do not have a spear. Don't get into cold water. Look at how many fires are on the way to the shrine. Someone was really, um, what's the word? Diligent with staying warm. Okay. Already took picture of the white choo choo, so. Well, ice choo choo, isn't it called? I guess. I don't know, because it's called white choo choo jelly, blah blah blah. Oh, more! Um. Nope, not my boring. Um. Enemies. Oh, that worked out nicely, actually. Even though... Um, oh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, thank you. Die, and die. Awesome. Alright, so we got some traveler's bows here. Let's start getting rid of these boko bows. Um, anyways, this is pretty much it for the cold area on this side. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so there's an enemy over there that I definitely want to take a picture of. It's going to be a little bit difficult on top of the fact including that it is an enemy that is stronger oh of course they noticed me oh, I wanted to get the headshot please let me get it there we go and and I'm not getting the headshot there we go now this guy you won't be able to get him until you do that now we want to have our picture ready oh wrong button and let me take a picture of you oh. That looks like a black bokoblin, to be honest. Oh, this is a better angle. Come on, try and take a picture of me. I mean, not a picture of me, but try and hit me. Perfect. This is how we deal with enemies. We take a picture of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some strategies on with this guy. There we go. Okay, let's get a spear out. Um, please. Throwing rocks at me, what's wrong with you? And... There we go. Now, I didn't die to one hit like most you guys did when the beginning of the game did. 
uh, started. Because I know I died a lot to those blue bokoblins at the beginning of the game. Mostly because I didn't have defense. Oh, and would you look at this? <gasps> There's a spiked book. <laughs> okay, then. Um, let's get rid of one of these, then. Uh, I sh yeah, let's let's get rid of that. Spike bokoblin shield is a 10. Rate 10. Um, item uh, shield so that is a pretty darn good shield obviously I don't have the ability to take a picture of it right now because I am picky like you guys know oh there's a shrine way down in the distance this this is basically what happens when you explore you discover stuff <laughs> just randomly like if you didn't if this game wouldn't point you in any direction, it'll probably be a lot more fun. Okay, I want to get this right here because I want to get back into this area. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so that was a Korok. <laughs> I was just like, there's just a random piece of ice here. Gotta be something fishy about that. Um, I got a little bit, um, what's the word? Doubtful for a second because it wasn't doing anything, but then after all the ice melted, we were done. So I figured there's nothing up here, so I'm gonna go back over there. I guess. Well, after exploring for so long, I finally found what I was looking for. Blue Nightshade, which actually looks much better in the nighttime. But it's only 11.25 a.m. But this is a decent picture of it, so I will, I will do that. They mostly look better in the nighttime because they glow. Pretty cool. Um... Yep, I'll be back because I'm just going to explore until I find the stuff that I haven't taken a picture of yet. Okay. We'll continue to discover while we explore. You've probably seen this before. Another Korok. Boom. Just all this stuff. I'm trying to find things that... I'm not trying to find, apparently. Oh, I'm gonna cut again. Just gonna keep on cutting till I find stuff. And then once I'm done finding it, I'll get to the last little special part of the video for you guys. I think you're gonna like it. Just hang tight. Come on. No, don't run away. Oh my gosh, I just need this picture. Yes! Finally! Oh, oh my goodness. That was so hard. Can I get a better picture of you guys now? Maybe. And something makes them fly away. Oh, you don't know how long that took me to get a common sparrow in my Hyrule Compendium. There you go. Let's target them little things. Now we can find them with ease. Let's 
says it's this way. Um, now it's gone. Maybe it was in a tree or something. see any well basically that's how that would work you basically use the take that picture you have to be very stealthy take that picture and then you basically have infinite access to finding them it says there's more up here I mean these things are everywhere but they blend in so well with the grass that green color. Oh, wherever it was, it flew away. Because I heard it. I wonder if we... Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. Where'd she go, buddy? Bushy-tailed squirrel. The other guy. That is like horrible to try to catch. My oh my. Well, that was interesting. Maybe I can try and get him. Okay, I got one. Hanging out by the rock. Got a chickaloo tree nut. Let's get out of here. Well, while doing a little bit more exploring, there we go. Got some. Oh god, they're gonna find me. Okay, that could have turned out better. Let's grab that real quick. And there we go. Well, we found right on top of the Shrine of Restoration, you can climb all the way behind and find a treasure chest just at the top of this hill. Amber. Okay, that wasn't... That wasn't... That was kind of underwhelming, but at least we got something. More exploring gives you more Koroks, apparently. Gosh. Um, here you go. So glad I took a picture of those things finally. Well, let's attempt it with inferior weapons. Let's go. Man, there's sure a lot of birds around here. I should have gone here to take a picture of those birds. Oh, and I already messed up. Hello there. We're just going to um, blow up your arms. That's how you take care of this guy. And beat up his weak spot. 
Oh my gosh, that's gonna take some time. Huh? That's not so bad. If I had like 10 more of those, yeah. I missed. Okay, so he's gonna recharge that arm for me to blow up. And apparently that didn't work. Oh, I don't mean to throw that. And dodge. Okay. That's fine. We're doing good. Okay. Okay. Just get up right away, buddy. Just go ahead and get up right away. And... There we go. Um, now we're stuck with inferior weapons. I need to take a picture of that still. Um, let's... Okay, so that's a... A critical hit, okay. So, oh, 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 okay. I, I have the defense to deal with that. Um, let's take out another... Okay, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, apparently that didn't work, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. There we go. And... Oh, I'll need a lot more arrows than that. Oh, shoot. Jeez. I wonder if I could kill him with bombs. Let's get this bomb right out, and... Well, this is gonna take some time. Because I don't really want to waste my weapons. One more of those will kill him. And there you go! That's how you beat him up. Let's collect our prize. And we can use those to buy more bomb arrows. <laughs> Would you look at this? Another one of these. And you guys already know what it is if you've seen any of these. Boom! Korok. Just all over the place here. I wonder how many Koroks are in those birds again. Anyways, in the Great Plateau alone. Mm. Okay, we're back here. Hey, Tunnel Village, of course. To start taking pictures of some more stuff. So let's go. Farmer's pitchfork. Kind of specific. Yeah, it only recognizes it certain ways. And of course, the iron sledgehammer, which I pretty much forgot. You know, this weapon might have made the... Um, stone talus fight much better easier because <laughs> it does more damage since it's a item with crushing well weapon with crushing properties there we go iron sledgehammer and here is the famous most overpowered shield in all of the land the pot lid yeah it's actually kind of trash <laughs> but it counts as a shield in fact it's so trashy that I'm just gonna throw it away haha <laughs> just wanted to take a picture of it and here we are the spiked boko shield boko shield there we are didn't think we could get that in so early in the game but we've been proven wrong Let's go back to that little 
a great plateau to get some more pictures. I think there's probably only a few more things that I gotta do, so we're almost done here. I've been sitting here for days, just warming myself by the fire. I don't remember when it was the last time I ate. Just waiting for this squirrel to pop up here. Climb this little hill. Slowly sneak about and see if that squirrel is there. One day I'll catch him and I'll take a picture of him. If only he understood. That's all I wanted was a picture. And those dang birds fly away again. Darn it. Well, at least I'm getting something to appear. But it's not the squirrel. Well, time to sit in front of a fire for days on end again. Apparently, I found treasure, so okay. Fire arrow. Fine by me. It's raining, and that fire is not going out. Hmm. Awesome. It's it's just the eternal fire. <gasps> oh, perfect! While looking for beetles, I found a silent room. Looks pretty when it's glowing like that. I wish this grass would go away. Well, that's actually pretty good. There we are. And that's basically what stealthy items do in the night. They glow. Back to the beetle. I found them. I finally found them. Oh my gosh. I just want to take a picture of this now. Oh, please. Come on, just let me delete. It didn't go. Dang it. And that should do it. Now we can find them and take a better picture. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so they didn't. Um, so let's get to a better angle. We try to get a better picture of these guys. So killing squirrels gives you acorns. Who would have known? Who would have thought? But now we're on search for the better picture. Oh my gosh, there's one in a tree. Perfect. Now if I can just get a good angle without scaring it away. Okay. Didn't actually think they'd be in trees, but I mean it makes sense. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful picture. Just stand up for me, buddy. And boom. That is so much better. Replace that, indeed. Let's try and see if we can get a better picture by coming up closer. Oh, look at that. I think, I think that's great. We are definitely getting good. Oh, that was beautiful. I think I like that picture better. It just gives it just gives a greatness of him and he runs away. That's fine. That is totally fine with me. You know what? I think that just about covers every single thing in this area the great plateau so let me make sure to do a quick double check before ending this whole thing right here and then we can get back to it well this shore is interesting that's definitely a weapon I don't have in my pictures um, kind of a sort of a in the stone kind of oh what um, okay then. Killed a butterfly while I'm at it. 
Look at all these things that you find just by exploring. Opal, that's some good money right there. Higher we go, the better picture we can take. And keep old picture. I want it to be center. That is a good picture. That is a very good picture. Well, sorry to say it, bud, but I missed. And I missed again. He needs to come closer. This is how you practice for hunting, guys. Okay. And I missed again. I missed again. There we go. Poof. Raw bird thigh. So, the next level up of the chicken. Chicken, um, why are summer wing butterflies here? Shouldn't they be dead in the cold? <laughs> At least I think so. Well, I think that might be everything. Let's go ahead and... I'll meet you guys back in... Oh god. Um, Hay Tunnel Village, of course. After I kill these guys. So I was curious about this waterfall right here in the River of the Dead and well oh never mind you could have just crossed the water to get here more of these guys so annoying Oh my goodness, that is such, wow, if you explore that much to be so curious to go this way, you get quite the awesome weapon, a soldier's broadsword with a long, alongside three treasure chests, which we can take a picture of, boom, treasure chest taken a picture of, and yep, that is part of treasure when you search under treasure so boom that pretty much yeah here I said we're going to Hateno village oh ho, ho. so we got a spike poco bowl which is gonna be great for our compendium some arrows and some fire arrows this is pretty awesome spot this is to mark it on the map you guys this this right here right behind the river mark it right next to Mount, Mount Hylia the river of the dead that's where you want to be use the raft or cross the water to get there now I will see you guys at Hayteno village since we're finally done clearing all this compendium stuff let's go okay we're back here get out to drop a weapon in order to get a picture of these but let's drop this first grab that traveler sword put up this soldier's broadsword pretty awesome weapon to have that early in the game if you explored it good on you there we go nice reward for being explory so we're gonna take that Put up this rusty broadsword, which has some nice damage, but it's very cheap, so expect it to break pretty easily. Good picture of it, and boom. And I think that's it. That's everything in the Great Plateau. Um, as far as those weapons go, 
Oh, not what I wanted to put up there. We're we're talking bows here. You gotta hold ZR. Spiked Boko Bow. Level a, a 12 damage item. I mean, even that is good to have at the beginning of the game. And you get all that just by exploring. Let's let's go ahead and have a seat by the fire and see what we've got in our Hyrule Compendium. This is all from the, whatchamacallit, all from the Great Plateau. Gosh, I don't know how to talk. Let's go ahead and set that shaker sensor to off. So horse doesn't count because I took a picture of that within the, within the shrine, well, Hey Tino Village. I just wanted to show off a horse that was the number one thing in the compendium. But here we have bushy tailed squirrel as part of the animals. It says Hyrule Field and Hyrule Ridge, so these can be found pretty much area everywhere. Kill him to get an acorn. Huh. Next up is Woodland Boar. Pretty much everywhere. Low in the in the lower level parts. Raw meat, of course. Common sparrow, which took forever to get. Oh my gosh, when you kill them, they get give chickaloo tree nuts which are pretty much the only way to get that I think acorns are easier because you can just get them off the ground wood pigeon which great Hyrule Forest Hyrule Ridge so they're gonna be pretty much all over the place got a raw bird drumstick from it Islander Hawk is gonna give us raw bird thigh which is a higher level drumstick basically and they're going to be found pretty much everywhere as well. Hyrule base all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. When you cook it, it just heals hearts. So this is a healing animal. Just like, I mean, just like the rest of these, but they these more like drop it. The fish are would exactly what you collect is exactly what you're going to eat. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other fish in the Great Plateau though, and I tried really hard to make sure I check. Next up is Summer Ring Butterfly, so we're getting into insects and just small, small animals like that. And these will be cooked with um, monster parts to create elixirs. So Summer Ring Butterfly will make a cold resistance elixir, which is a spicy elixir. Next up is Restless Cricket, which can found pretty much everywhere <laughs> anywhere you can cut grass you can probably find restless cricket cook it with monster parts to get stamina recovery which is pretty good if you're trying to catch a horse or been flying too long but you still need stamina to land bladed rhino beetle we already talked about that monster parts for attack up Sunflet, sunflet, sunset firefly will give you stealth up when you cook with monster parts. Hot footed frog will give you speed up when you cook monster parts, which I did use. These are also all over the place. Most of these found in the Great Plateau are going to be found all over the place in Hyrule. So, high tail lizard is actually another mm, animal that gives you speed up. So, if you were to cook this with the high t basically the foot the frog and the high tail lizard you can get more time on your speed up elixirs so that's pretty much it for animals as you can see there's quite a few um one two three four hold on wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so yeah and you'll miss a lot of these especially bladed rhino beetle Oh, I totally missed that at the beginning of the game. Didn't even know they were in the Great Plateau. Anyways, monster time. We have choo-choos, which are pretty much everywhere as well. Choo-choo jelly. Ice choo-choo are everywhere. It's cold. Um, obviously. That's blah. So choo-choo jelly, white choo-choo jelly. Choo-choo jelly is pretty much useless by itself. You can put out fires with it, I guess. And when you apply any kind of elemental thing to it it turns into another jelly so this is one of them white choo choo jelly which is ice jelly and when you hit the jelly it explodes with ice and freezes opponents pretty easy uh keys just all of these monster parts can be cooked with to make a elixir or sold 
So the more rare the item is, the more expensive it is, or the more time you get on an elixir. Bokoblins, we see them everywhere. Blue Bokoblin, which is basically a higher level, reg a higher level Bokoblin. They also give you Bokoblin guts on top of the corn and fang, which is pretty much more more tools for that. Stokoblin is basically the Bokoblin that appears at night. You have to kill the head in order to kill it. Decayed guardi Guardian. Um, we've seen a bunch of those. Those are the stuff that we dropped. We never didn't really try to kill one, so we skip that. Guardian Scout is basically just a guardian, but smaller. And they really only appear in shrines, so yep. Stone Talus, which we did beat up. Um, I don't think I got much flint from him though, but we sure did get Amber, Opal, and Ruby. And these are, this is actually a mini boss, and they're scattered across the whole continent of Hyrule, I guess if you want to call it that. But either way, that's, those are good to grind. Um, of course they won't come back until a Blood Moon. And I mean, that's our first mini boss in the game. And that looks like that's it for the enemies. Monsters, next up we have materials, apples everywhere not even gonna try spicy spicy peppers are pretty much everywhere as well um, but in this case they're near cold areas um, but yeah I'd say they're a, a great found pretty much in a lot of places um, when you cook them cold resistance you probably already knew that because you need that no you need to know that at the beginning of the game to get through a certain part or to get the warm doublet before you get to the cold part. Hylian Shroom, first item you practically get. <laughs> practically, yeah. It's the first item you touch besides a tree branch. Samella Shroom is basically a st uh, stamina recovery item when you cook it. Cook it more to get more stamina, I guess. Fresh Shroom, speed up when you cook it. Lots of mushrooms here. Um, all three of these can be pretty much found everywhere. Mushrooms grow on the sides of cliffs. So yeah, that's pretty crazy for uh, mushrooms to grow on rocks or stuff. Do they usually grow rocks? I don't know. Anyway, Silent Shroom, stealth up. It glows in the dark, so automatically assume it, it's a stealth up item, but it also heals hearts, so that's cool too. Hyrule or Herb is specifically for hearts so cook it to increase it basically doubles the hearts you restore um, these can pretty much be found everywhere too mostly in the grassland areas though next up is blue nightshade which does the same thing as the the blue uh, the mushroom silent shroom so stealth up when you cook it can mostly be found in i guess the eastern area of the map. I don't remember seeing it anywhere else besides the Great Plateau and just all of Nekluda, which is the easternmost area of the map. Coarser Bee Honey heals more hearts, but it also heals stamina when you cook it. So you have to cook it in order to get that stamina boost. And that's pretty much it for those. There's quite a lot of things to get in here. So look at that. Two pages on materials and we're already kind of a quarter done. Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. And finally, weapons. So tree branch, obviously the first thing you can get. And the properties shown are just how strong it is. So two damage on that, two damage on a torch, two, eight damage on a boomerang. Can I, I took a picture of the boomerang? Well, you don't find that in the Great Plateau, but we, we can return to that another time. Traveler's sword, your basic good level sword soldier's broadsword what i which i had no idea was going to be that early in the game i was blown away finding that rusty broadsword is basically a traveler's sword just a level up of the traveler's sword and it does one more damage but it breaks pretty easy then we got the boko club bokoblin made them so better than a stick that's for sure but they break pretty fast it's now the Bokoblin arm is a step up above the club, but it's also weak as well. Found everywhere you can find a nighttime Bokoblin. <laughs> Stockoblin, I guess you could say. So cork leaf can be found everywhere there's a tree. That's just obvious right there. 
it actually has quite a lot of durability so you can like whack people with it for a long time but it's not going to do a lot of damage it's mostly for blowing stuff away woodcutter's axe very efficient for cutting trees um, has a lot of durability when cutting trees but not so much when fighting people sledgehammer is mostly used for mining you can use it as a weapon it doesn't hurt its durability as much but it's best used for mining because it makes mining easier it breaks those mining rocks in one hit and that's better than most other weapons because they take multiple hits to break and it's actually a 12 damage um hammer so I mean it does a lot of damage use it against the stole stone talus <laughs> farmers pitchfork um, obviously we don't use it to be a farmer in this game but it has a quite a lot of damage on it the only thing is it breaks pretty quickly as do most items in the beginning of the game for example the boko spear which is a spear found by book found by book goblins and that is actually the only spear that we see in this area so, I mean, not very good besides a farmer's pitchfork, which counts as a spear. It works like a spear. Next up is Traveler's Bow, which is the standard bow for thing. It's better to have at the beginning of the game um, than the Boko Bow, which is the next one. Um, yeah, there's a few in a treasure chest. Um, actually, there's one in a treasure chest in the Hyrule not Hyrule, the Temple of Time, and that's an easy way to get it. And then we have the Boko Bow, which is just a step under. You get them from all the Bokoblins who shoot arrows, and it has four damage, so it's better than the, well, actually it's exactly the same as the Boko Bat Club, whichever, the club. And then this is, wow, the 12, 12 damage spike Boko Bow. I didn't even expect to get that. I was just blown away from that hidden thing behind the waterfall. I hope I showed you guys something new at least. <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty good bow to have because um, you don't get it till later in the game, at least when you're fighting stronger bokoblins. Now on to shields. We got pot lid, which can be found pretty much anywhere there's a pot. There would be a pot lid nearby, but it's the weakest shield in the game. You don't want to use that. Traveler's Shield, standard, basically like the Traveler's Sword and the Traveler's Bow. For, for uh, basically the shield uh, level is how how much damage it would do if you were to re uh, parry an attack, I guess you could say. Uh, Boko Shield, step down from the Traveler's Shield, so not that great. And then we have the Spike Boko Shield, which I totally did not see coming. I was just like, um, what? Um, okay. So yeah, we found it actually in one of the encampments by the colder area. It's pretty, it's pretty much near the waterfall, but there's an encampment all the way at the other end there. And then lastly, we have the treasure chest, which can be found everywhere. I mean, Greater Hyrule pretty much everything so that's pretty much it for this video I guess you can say but I have one more surprise for you guys one more surprise I'll be right back now here I go saying that's all you can find in the um, Great Plateau but then look at this travelers spear Please, <laughs> we'll take a picture of it in a moment. But first, I got to show you guys what I wanted to show you. Come here. Another Korok seed. Just wanted to get this on the way to my destination. But if you guys know where I am, you might already know what I'm getting at. 
But for those who don't know, you will see in a second. Gotta get that rush room. Colosseum ruins. Okay, we're we're starting to get some spoilers away, but let's keep going. Alrighty. Now here we are practically here in the Colosseum ruins. And you see there are some pretty strong enemies enemies here. You don't want to mess with these guys. But this is like an area that's right next to the plateau. I'm surprised that it's quite a strong area. There's even some of that purple goo that you will see in the future. I believe that's called Malice. But yeah, there's a bunch of black enemies here, which is a level up above, above blue. So yeah, these are some dangerous guys here that you don't want to mess with too early in the game. And they have some pretty strong weapons as well. Just gotta be careful that they don't see me. That looks like a claymore. Anyways, the real thing I wanted to look at here was this Lionel. We can add him to the compendium pretty easily. He is also one you do not want to mess with. He will kill you in one hit. Did he see me? Is he just gonna stand there menacingly? Why not take a picture of that? Standing there menacingly. Oh, he does see me. Uh-oh. Well, I'm gone. And I'm almost dead. Bye. Oh my gosh. He actually hit me. How rude. Oh, he's still trying to hit me. Yep, still trying to hit me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me heal real quick. <laughs> But yeah, kill you in one hit kind of thing. This is a Zelda game, so you won't die in one hit. They at least give you a chance by leaving you with exactly one heart. But we got that added to the compendium. And then we can actually locate them as well. I'll get a better picture later in the game. But these are pretty much found everywhere. You would be wise to challenge a lino. Only if you're very well prepared, which we are not, so let's not even try it. <laughs> Alrighty, well this is the end of the video. Hope you like watching, even though it seemed pretty long. Um, those videos like that you can always save for later to watch, I don't mind. As long as you watch the whole thing, that's something I appreciate. Shoot, I appreciate you watching even two minutes of my videos. <laughs> Either way... That's pretty much it. We got the compendium started and I'll continue more videos like this. Just exploration based and things like that. So if you're looking for good weapons come here to the Colosseum. It's in this area of the map um, exactly north of the Great Plateau and near a stable, outskirts stable, which I didn't really mean to activate those but I was trying to make some money so I went all the way over there. So anyways, that's where it is. You get some pretty good weapons if you go in there. Um, you can probably like get a few critical hits and steal their weapons. And then just run away because you'd probably die soon. <laughs> but yes, if you like the video, like it, of course. Um, comment below if you have any suggestions, questions, suggestions, I don't know. Or just want to say something nice or whatever. And lastly, subscribe. Of course, subscribe to the channel. It keeps me going. The more I get, the more I want to make videos. I also have some other stuff planned, but that will be for another video. But I, we got more videos like this coming ahead, so that's a good reason to subscribe to get that stuff right in your feed so you can watch it. But either way, that's pretty much it. This is the Cheesy Cat. 
and I'll see you in the next video.